For three straight years, the Belt Huskies boys basketball team made it to the divisional championship but fell short every time. This year, they overcame that obstacle and found a way to secure the title. Oh, we've got some great senior boys. Um, probably all those other second place <laughs> finishes with, these, with, with some of these same guys and the, that experience is, uh, is valuable to get into this spot. I, I thought our guys were pretty focused it's awesome. I mean, like I said, we've been in this four years, and us group of seniors and our whole team finally got it done today. So it's just awesome feeling. Throughout the tournament, they experienced some close games and had to rally together to pull through, including a one-possession game in the semifinals. It seemed like the last few games we uh, we didn't handle it with the type of composure and execution that uh, we probably should have, but. You know, it's, it's, it's hectic, it's a little helter-skelter. Uh, you just hope you, fundamentally your kids will be pretty solid when they're getting sped up and, and can make good decisions. And, 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 and I think our kids, for the most part, did the last couple nights. For the Husky athletes who also played football, they will be looking to secure their second state title within the same school year. I mean, like you said, we got the eight-man state football championship, and we're just hoping to keep pushing in basketball and see if we can get another one done. And as happy as they are with the divisional title, they still understand the task that lies before them. Um, well, this tournament's momentum is going to give us energy, but the win doesn't matter. we got to come in the state tournament with a record of 0-0. Everyone's going to be as good as us, if not better, so we just got to come out ready to play. After coming up short at divisionals and getting bounced the first round of the state tournament, for the last three years, they are focused on breaking the cycle and going further into the tournament. Their first matchup will be against Fairview on Thursday at 1.30.